Chivalry is very easy to understand. Whenever someone bravely acts for the benefit of something good in the face of fear. Hope and redemption are at stake in these tales. Comparable subjects have been essential our social stories, beginning from the beginning of humankind. Stories have been written about mythological characters throughout history. DC is the incomparable expert on superheroes, and superheroes have developed into what they are today. It is impossible to consider this in this manner today, despite the fact that no one had ever seen anything quite like that before. Would I do it if I could be a hero? When something inspires us to fight for what is right, we have power. That is truly remarkable conduct. No one likely guessed that this would turn into the most significant conversation of race in superhuman media. The actual act of empowerment took place at the right time in culture. All around the U.S., comic books were set ablaze. As a result of the code and comics persecution, comic book creators are subjected to oppression. It was a creative, incredibly firm grasp. Women shouldn't be highlighted in prominent positions. People were overcome with fear. They actually were. You would find a picture and guide various gay undercurrents of that here and there. Due to Miracle Lady, perhaps not entirely incorrect. Watchmen was like reading a religious book to me when I first started it. We need to all get back to being kids and realize that we can choose the best option. It demonstrates our current identity. Superheroes, supervillains, and antiheroes, there is a DC character for everyone on the planet. We can't stay tied to the past. The question, but what's cutting it now, needs to be brought up to date for those characters. Comic books are an excellent medium. Anything can be the subject of strong stories. You need the bravery to tell.